Hi! Today I will show you some of the pages in my Printstick Organizer Split VR. So I'm gonna head to GoodNotes, which is the app that I use for all of my digital planning and where I keep my organizer. And this is my first or cover page. This comes blank originally, but I have added a cover with some widgets here, a little calendar, and I'm gonna activate my links. So tap on this little pen icon to hide my toolbar so that I can tap on different buttons and navigate the pages of this document. First off, this is a very useful page, even though it's the cover page, you have two different functions. And the first one is that when you go to your gallery in GoodNotes or whichever note-taking app you are using, the first page is usually what you will see in the miniatures here. So you can decorate it and put it the way you want so you can see it, you know, look at it every time that you open your note-taking app. So that's what this does. And another thing is you'll notice that you have all of the buttons of the organizer adapted on this page and that makes this a very functional page. You can tap on any of the buttons and you can navigate to that page and you can also go back to your cover page from anywhere in the organizer by tapping on this top right corner. So let's get started. I'm gonna tap on my star icon here and this will open my mini dashboard and you can use this however you like. I have set it up in two different ways. This is way number one, so it's kind of a weekly overview. Right now I've been planning without specific dates or deadlines, so I just like to see an overview of how my weeks or how my days go on a weekly basis. So this is kind of my weekly routine. And if I do need more space on every day to expand or get more details, I can tap on this plus sign and that will open a blank page that here, of course, I have added some stuff. The page originally comes all blank like this, but I have already started adding my information. And that is one way in which you can use this little uh, dashboard. And then this little star is gonna be placed on top of the page to know that this page belongs to my dashboard. And if I wanna go back to my dashboard, I just tap on the star again. But there's a second way in which you can use this page. This is the other idea that I had on how to use this page. I like to have my processes or different things that I need to do multiple times, but I sometimes forget details about it. For example, the steps I need to create and publish a short video or a video to YouTube. So for example, to create a short video, I have these little steps that I like to follow. And if I want more details, I'm gonna tap on my plus sign. This will open my originally blank page where I have added more information, you know, reminders on things that I need to keep in mind whenever I want to publish a little video. Next, I'm going to open my master list, which is this little check mark icon here. And I love this page. It's basically different spaces to create little lists. I usually keep this just for like groceries and things that I need to buy. I personally like to buy different things from different places. So I entered the name of each supermarket here. I entered also a list of general things that I need as soon as possible. So whichever store is closest is going to be fine. Um, I also added a little wish list, and I really like this, of things that I want to get, but they're not necessary. I don't need to get them right away, but I like to keep track of them here. Next, I'm gonna show you the Princeton Organizer Split Dashboard, and that's gonna be this label here that says the name of the organizer. So if I tap there, I'm gonna open this page. At the moment, I'm using this section to store and organize some stickers just to have them handy whenever I'm planning because I use this document a lot, so I don't have to get out of here and open my sticker book. I can just load them from here. So I have set up all of my custom links here. I'm gonna show you what this looks like when there's nothing. So you do have the links here. You can see the little watermarks. That means that these um, are buttons where you can link to other pages. I'm gonna go back and enter everything that I had. So I'm gonna show you what happens when I open one of these sections. So let's go to weather. And here I have added all of my weather stickers. So I have them handy for whenever I want to track the weather on my planner. I'm gonna head back to my dashboard, main page, and just show you a few others. I have all my Triana stickers here. And I also have, for example, my office icon and stickers, very helpful. Celebration. 
and I'm gonna show you how to add stickers. This is my boxes page, and as you can see, it's not full yet. So I'm gonna tap on my sticker shortcut here just because that's where I have a bunch of stickers that I can add onto this page. I'm actually gonna move this window to the left so I can work on this side. I'm gonna go to my rainbow sticker book, and I'm just gonna open whichever color. Let's go to blue, and then I'm gonna find the boxes that I can add to this page. And I can just make them as small as I want so I can fit more. And then I can just make them big again when I need them. And just like that, I'm tapping and dragging and adding them to this page for quick access. Now, this is an organizer. It's not a planner. It is not dated. However, you do get daily, weekly, monthly, and even yearly pages. And I'm going to show you those. So first, let's go to my daily, which is this icon right here. On the days that I have a lot going on that I really need to see what I need to do, I create these daily pages. And these are just some examples of how I have used these pages. The easiest thing to do is once you find a system that works, just copy your information, move it onto the next page and paste it and don't change other things because that's going to be faster. But here, for example, I did change everything and just know that you have access to all of these extra um, stickers and elements at the library which is going to be this icon right here. When you tap there, you will open a folder with a bunch of elements that you can use to customize your pages. So that's what I did here. All of this, as you can see, is not originally here. The page is normally white, but I turned it into blue here on my daily just to make it a little more interesting. Next, I'm gonna head to my weekly, which is gonna be this icon here. Again, this is just a week. It's not dated, but I like to use and tweak this as I go. And I want to show you, for example, I have filled out this page, but I want to start planning for the following week. I don't want to lose this information. I like the way it looks. I like to keep my pages that have passed. So what you do is you head to your miniatures here. You are here. You can see there's a little outline telling you which page is selected. And then just tap on that little arrow at the bottom and click on duplicate. That will create an exact copy and we are going to keep this copy okay that we just created just to keep it safe but this original page and if you're not sure which one is the original page you can always just use the link to navigate to it this is it i'm going to clear it and now this page is ready to be used for the following week let me show you what my monthly looks like. I have already created a couple of these. I can add the label of the month on this section right there and just keep making copies like I just showed you. Let's go to the yearly page. This is very simple. I have added the labels of the months because normally this page will be all blank. I'll show you just like this, but I have covered this label that says this year. I just painted with white over it and I have added the year that this is for and these monthly labels as well. And here basically I'm just keeping different important dates that I want to keep track of. And as you can see, I kind of color coded everything. And here I have the codes of what everything means. My next page I'm not proud of. It's my quick note. It's not pretty. I literally come and write down things. Nothing interesting to see here, but this page is quite useful. And then let's hit my light bulb here to go to my ideas page. I really like this page, it's really useful and I have used it to keep track of my products and in this case, the Princeton Organizer Split Launch. So each one of these boxes is a link section. The bottom of the box will link to a blank page where you can enter more information as needed. We do have more blank sections linked throughout the planner and those are these numbers up here. So when you tap on each of these tabs, you will have a linked page where you can enter whatever you want. So I have random things and random notes on these pages. It's really handy to have them linked throughout the organizer. Then I have brought back the task manager, if you recall from the original PSO, and those are these buttons here. The first page is going to be your urgent page. I wrote down do now. So these are the things that I really have to do as soon as possible. And as you can see, the icon will have this double exclamation point. And then you have another page with things that you have to do, maybe a little less pressing. And then you have four different sections linked here with space to write whatever you want. Again, you can organize your tasks 
and then have um, different mini tasks to do for a main task. You can organize your tasks by category and you get four of these pages. You also have a built-in notebook with an index and everything. And that is going to be this icon here. The little eye will open my index. Right now I'm using this as a recipe book. That's not the best idea. I'm definitely gonna move this onto an, a different, a separate notebook. And I'm gonna use this for more notes because I'm running out of space. But this is how I set it up just so you get an idea. So this is my index and any of these numbers either here or at the bottom here will take me to different pages of the notebook. Next, we're going to go to the organizer part. So here you have different inserts to organize different aspects of your life. These are going to be linked from any page in the organizer. For the last organizer pages, we have these icons here, which are going to take you to your project page. The next icon is going to be your vision board. Following icon is your goal tracker. And lastly, I'm going to navigate to my grid pages, which are linked to my help icon right here. You could keep other notes that you need here. You know that these pages will always be linked to that help page. So that's it for my organizer. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and that you got some ideas on how you can use your own organizer. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to check out my other videos because I have a lot of information on the new Princeton Organizer Split Collection. These are just some examples of how I personally have been using my pages. I hope it inspires you. It gives you some ideas on things that you can do yourself. If you have any questions, as always, leave me a comment below. I'll get back to you as quick as I can. And I appreciate you being here and I'll see you on my next video. Bye bye.